Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Brought something with me this morning. Here I have a hiking stick. And you'll see on this hiking stick a bunch of uh, medallions up and down the hiking stick. I started this hiking stick uh, summer of 1999. Uh, this was right after my high school graduation and my family went up to South Dakota. And this is what I did with my souvenir money. I started this hiking stick, um, went to the Badlands, went to Mount Rushmore. That was what, about 22 years ago, I started this hiking stick. And after that trip, I never added any more medallions. Well, on our vacation these last couple of weeks, uh, we were going through some of the gift shops and I saw medallions for these places. I was like, you know what? I should buy these and add these to the hiking stick. So we have Seven Falls, that's in uh, the Colorado Springs area. Uh, Grand Canyon, that was the big thing that we visited. And then they even had one for Barazona, uh, which is a drive through zoo. Now normally I, I only get uh, medallions for national parks, but I was like, you know what, Barazona's cool and it's a medallion. So I bought it, added it to the hiking stick. Now there are plenty of places that we visited on this trip that I did not get medallions for. So there's not a medallion for every place that I visited on our last vacation. And there are plenty of cool places I visited throughout my life uh, that I don't have medallions for. Uh, so this stick does not represent every place I visited. That got me to thinking. If Jesus were to have a hiking stick, and if he were to have medallions on that hiking stick for the places he's visited, probably his favorite places, the most important places Jesus has visited, what would those medallions have on them? Well, the first one would probably have this world on it. That Jesus loved you so much that he came into this world to be with you and make you his own. Then, the next medallion would probably have the cross. That's where Jesus went to die for you, to forgive you, to claim you as his forever. Then the next medallion would probably have the empty tomb. That's where Jesus rose from the dead and won for you the gift of eternal life. And then finally, if we have a medallion for every place that Jesus has been, every place Jesus wants to be and go, that last medallion, most likely, would be your heart. Because that's where Jesus wants to be. He wants to be in your heart, living in you forever. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your beautiful creation. The opportunity that we have to experience that creation and travel and, and see all the things you have made. Lord, we especially thank you for your son and his traveling, his journey. As he came into this world, as he went to the cross, as he left behind the empty tomb, as he today lives in our hearts, claiming us as his forever. In your name we pray. Amen. Pray God's blessings on your day. And I pray that as you reflect on maybe all the places that you've been in life, remember all the places Jesus has been and continues to be for you. Amen.